our good old friend, the wavetable oscillator. We use it to look up waveforms of varying character, play them at arbitrary speed and enjoy nice additional features, such as interpolation, provided by friendly helper objects such as Wave. Internally, we know even the cycle object uses a 16k wavetable, which we can override if we like to and drive it by phase. Now, what if we liked to make the sample look up a little more complex by using a two dimensional wavetable? To be sure, there are interesting opportunities in the MSP domain, such as the 2D.wave object. While this may be worthwhile, it's also a bit counterintuitive. In fact, there is a significant number of questions regarding 2D.wave in the Cycling74 forums. However, the JIT-POKE and JIT-PEAK objects are valuable alternatives to consider residing in the JIT domain. We start our experiment by loading in jit expr which allows us to, well, compute various functions based on the cell indexes of a JIT matrix. I'm not going to go into great detail of the syntax here, Suffice it to say, the norm expression gives us access to the cell indexes of the dimension specified in square brackets, normalized from 0 to 1. So, sine, open paren, norm, open bracket 0, close bracket times 2 pi, gives us a single sinusoid in every row of the matrix. However, since a matrix is two-dimensional, we can also define two-dimensional expressions, for example, we can use the signed normalize as norm expression to calculate a bivariate cosine or sine function which depends on the x and y coordinates of the matrix. Now off to cheat peak. It takes the name of the lookup matrix, an argument specifying the dimension count and a third determining the plane to take the values from. The number of inlets generated depends on the second argument, so here we have one for the x and one for the y-axis. We add two phasors, which scan the matrix in x and y direction accordingly. If we use the first expression, we get the plane sine wave regardless of the frequency of the second phasor. Why is that? Well, as I said, the same sinusoid is applied to every row of the matrix, so the y coordinate, the second phaser, won't make any difference. If you take one of the other two expressions, that's a different story. Now let's have a little fun with it. Make a sample and hold circuit to specify the frequency of the first phaser and one for the second one. No! 
The sound is yet a bit harsh, but it's an excellent starting point for subjective synthesis. We're going to deal with that in the next episode.